Hello students. In today's class, we will be solving uh, example problem 5 from NCRT. So le let's read out the question number 5 and let's understand what the question is demanding and then we will solve it. The question number 5 is a battery of 10 volt and negligible internal resistance is connected across diagonally opposite corners of a cubical network consisting of 12 resistors, each of resistance 1 ohm. Determine the equivalent resistance of the network. First question they have asked us to, uh, us to determine the equivalent resistance of this network and the current along each edge of the cube. Okay, And then we have to determine current along each edge. So the thing which we have to understand here is that we have to use Kirchhoff's second rule. What is Kirchhoff's second rule? That is the loop rule. Once we will use the loop rule, then we will use our Ohm's law formula for further clarification and for further knowing the current. Okay, current and equivalent resistance. Why we are using Kirchhoff's and Ohm's law? Why are not we are not using the parallel combination and series combination formula in this case? So just see this diagram. I'm showing it with the help of highlighter. So if we are at this point D dash, there are three networks. These networks are saying that, that these three are in parallel combination with each other. But again, they are from the other end, from their second end, they are not being connected with the same resistors. Instead, in between them is another resistors. See, from C, three different. From B dash, there are three different. So it is highly complex network. A complex network so when a complex network is there then we have to decide how we are going to solve it so let's write down what all information the question is providing us we can write the information or given okay in this given is that a battery of 10 volt is attached there is no internal resistance because they have said negligible so we will simply ignore r then the whole circuit is getting current of 3 i amperes okay the diagram is very much important this diagram is in connection with the question this diagram isn't made as an answer to the question but the diagram itself is a question so we are going to get the information from the diagram. So this is the current I equals to 3 I amperes. That is the total current. Then we are having resistors that are 12 in number and each number and each resistor is having a value of 1 ohm. Okay. Now we will see that current over here is equally divided at this junction by the application of junction rule of Kirchhoff by the application of junction rule of Kirchhoff this current 3i is equally divided into three arms here here and here in i i i the i is coming here also and at this junction of a dash again by the application of junctions rule this current is divided equally among this direction and this direction that is I upon 2, I upon 2. So this diagram is all upon you to understand. I can only explain and you have to imagine it. You have to think it how this uh, diagram is working. Now to solve it, we will consider one loop where we have resistor, where we have a battery and we know the current. Okay, so this is the loop which we are going to consider the whole loop over here okay why we are considering this because this is the easiest loop to solve and if we are solving this single loop we will get 
many information which will help us to uh, get the answer of this particular question okay so if we are considering this loop this loop is a e c dash c b okay or we can write it as a b c c dash e a this is a closed loop closed loop see over here considering the loop this one and applying kirchhoff's second rule so we have applied the second rule now from here we will see that i is flowing in this direction so we are taking the direction as this this is clockwise direction okay so current is coming out from the positive end so e will be plus then from this register r that is equals to 1 ohm current i is crossing in minus then from here again 1 ohm current i2 is crossing current i upon 2 is crossing so i upon 2 into r then from this i is crossing from this 1 ohm okay so i r we got one equation from kirchhoff's second rule and when we are solving this equation we will get that value of e will come around 5 upon 2 into i r if r equals to 1 ohm e equals to 5 upon 2 i okay the equivalent resistance r q of the network is equivalent emf equals to e upon 3 i that is 5 upon 6 r see this is for one single emf if we are considering it an equivalent emf we will take it as emf upon the current because that is what resistance is which is equals to emf's value we have got this 5 upon 2 ir upon 3i i and i will get cancel and we will get 5 upon 6r that is the equivalent emf of this network equivalent emf of this uh, network which is equi uh, equals to 5 upon 6r we'll move to the next one then we have r equals to 1 ohm we'll uh, give that r equals to 1 ohm and we'll find that equivalent resistance equals to 5 upon 6 ohms and over here e is 10 see voltage provided equals to 10 volt and the total current given equals to 3i so using this formula we can apply over here and r is 5 upon 6 so what is the value of i we can find it will be equals to 3 uh, v equals to r into i v equals to r into i r is 5 upon 6 and i is 3i this will get cancelled and i will be 20 upon 5 okay this will give us a value of 4 amperes i equals to 4 amperes similarly even in this solution i have did it in the same way that is 10 volt upon the resistance which is equals to 12 amperes and i equals to 4 ampere this is the current flowing so wherever in whatever loop or in whatever a particular wire whatever wire of our connection getting i then they are getting 4 ampere whatever is getting 3 i that are getting 12 ampere and that is even the total current total current okay and wherever the current is i upon 2 that is 4 upon 2 amperes so in each loop we have got to know about the existence of the current hope the question is very well understood to you all keep practicing this question is quite easy and you will always get questions like this only which are not tough 
only thing is you have to understand which concept you need to apply if you are not directly able to solve the question using the series and parallel combination of resistance do not panic just try to solve it using kirchhoff's rule because that is also one of the uh, very good rule and most applicable rule in the electronic circuits so keep practicing have a good day bye bye